Shit in the booth. I'm finna go ahead and paint it. You can see I got a guide coat on it. I just used some black black in the spray can. But if you want to see how I made it this far, I got videos. I'm gonna put them down in the in the description. So you can go ahead and go back where I had fixed this at. It was rusted out. I repaired that. Also put a sunroof in, and it was some rust spots along the doors. I had repaired. I already done did the door jams. I done stripped everything off. I seen a little spot here. I had it fixed. Put some glaze I put on. Took everything off. Well, if you want to see them videos, I'm gonna put them put them down in the description so you can check them out. So what I'm finna do now, I'm finna go ahead and wet sand this guide coat, get it smooth so I can go ahead and paint it. But this is what I'm gonna be using here. I got some 400 grit wet sand paper. I just fold it in half and cut it down the middle. I got some in the bucket here, soap and water. I got it soaking. Then I got me a dish detergent bottle. I'm gonna use that to keep the surface wet. And I got a soft sponge. Okay, I got my soap and water inside my bottle. What you want to do, you just want to scrape some on and wet the surface up. And then once you wet it up, take your 400 grit sandpaper and just get that guy coat up. You see like this here? The black spray paint, you want to remove it. Once you get it all up, we'll just take your rag and kind of wipe it so you can see what you're working with. You can see now, I'm going to have to go ahead and hit this some more. But right here, it's smooth. You don't see no black spray paint or nothing. No orange peel. That's good to go. You want to do your whole vehicle like that. Let me show you this right quick. Just low spot and then wipe it. So low spot here. It's like a little imperfection. Let me try to zoom it in. Alright, you see that there? That's a little imperfection. I'm going to have to bring this down a little bit farther. So I can get rid of that imperfection. Here's another little tip for you. You can kind of tell when it's smooth. 
by the sound. Just say, for instance, this here is a smooth surface. And this here ain't. I haven't done this. But listen to the sound. Now listen to this. Just another little tip. I like to tackle like one area at a time. Kind of section it off. Like say for instance from here to the middle of the hood. I try to go on and do one section at a time. You don't want to get ahead of yourself. But I, I done got all this wet sand. So I'm going to get me, get my rag here and kind of wipe it down so I can inspect the area. Just want to wipe it down. And once it's dry, you can go ahead and fix. Like if you find an imperfection, you can go ahead and put some little glaze and put in it and fill it. But you can kind of see the low spots if you got any when it's wet. But once it's dry, I'm going to cut you back on. I'm going to show you an imperfection that i seen that I'm going to feel. Okay, I got this section here. Sand it, wipe down. Now it's done dried off. I can go ahead and inspect it. Make sure I ain't got no imperfections. But I seen one spot here. See if I can zoom in. If it focus. It's right there. It's just like a scratch mark. I'm just gonna fill it with this here. This USC Pronto spot putty. Go ahead and fill it. Since I know where it's at, I don't want to wait to the end. I'll be done forgot it. Then I go ahead and paint it. Then I see it after I paint it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it now. The reason why this section here lighter than this section, it's a different type of primer, different brand. sanding this here you need to make sure you feather edge this paint here this is where the overspray came up when I painted the jams you want to make sure you feather edge it because it's a hard line it's somewhat of a hard line but you want to make sure you feather edge it and make it smooth transition Alright, once you get the area sanded, you want to get your rag and kind of wipe it so you can see what you're working with. And then kind of put yourself at an angle and you can see all the imperfections if you got any. They're sure with the wet area. Give you another tip when you sand in like flexible areas like the deck lid, maybe the hood, where it flex, you don't want to put no pressure on it while you're sanding because you'll start digging into the spots that you don't want to dig into. You don't want to put pressure on it, you want to keep it real flat on top of the surface. What I'm saying with, I just got some sandpaper wrapped around just a paint stir stick. Just finished up on the wet sanding. I'm finna go ahead and take it outside and clean it on up.
then I'll be ready to bring it back in and mask it on off. What I'm doing now, I'm just trying to wipe everything down, trying to dry everything off, get all the water out the little cracks, because that's the worst thing you can do is start painting and some water start dripping. But I got all the doors and the hood and the deck lid open. I'm going to go ahead and remove this sunroof glass out. So I can scuff up in there and get paint up in there. I'm just going to remove the glass. I just removed the sunroof. Now I got to finish up wet sanding around up in here because I never did do that because the glass was in it. So I'm going to go ahead and wet sand that. Then I'll be ready to go ahead and mask everything up. I already done started the masking. As you can see, I got the roof mask off. Got the windshield. I still gotta do up under the hood. Gotta do the doors. I got the red glass masked off. I done started on the trunk. Well, I already got the trunk done. I just gotta close it. As you can see, I'm using some foam tape, soft edge tape. Just so you won't get a hard land.
after you get through wiping it down with wax and grease removal, you want to go ahead and get you a tack cloth. I got a dry tack cloth here. You want to go ahead and take it off, get all the dust off of it and the lint. Wineberry base coat. We're gonna be spraying this with a 50% overlap. We're gonna be spraying it with this Celejet 5000B HVLP 1.32. So the dark wine berry base. What I'm finna do now, I'm just finna go ahead and take this off. Get the overspray up off of it.
try to stay spur. It's a white post spur. I'm gonna be spraying the pearl with the same gun. But what you wanna do, you wanna walk the length of the car. From one end all the way down to the other end. It's just like spraying candy. You don't wanna uh, spray panel to panel. Because when you do that, you're gonna build up the pearl right here. And it's gonna be a lot different. Like if you stop here, start here and stop here. When you come back and do this door, you're gonna stop here again. So you're gonna have more pearls in this spot. So you wanna walk the left of the car. Finish laying down the ghost pearl. There's three coats. I'm gonna go ahead and tack this off too, just like I did the base coat. Then I'll be ready to spray my clear coat.
got through laying the last coat of clear. I put four coats of clear on it because I'm going to cut and buff it. But I had three little hiccups along the way. The first one, I had three little runs. One here, and here, and here. But I'm gonna cut and buff it, so I'm gonna take care of that. Also, I seen, I think, two little small dings that I didn't see when I was doing the body work. I think it's over here somewhere. right here somewhere you can't really tell though but it's there and I think the other one is right here you can't really tell but it's a small ding now once you put that clear on there it show everything and I also ran out of base coat when I was doing the hood but you can't really tell on that neither up in there, I ran out of base coat, so it's kind of dark right here, but you have to really be looking at it to see it. Diamonds in my neck and lips, diamonds in my place and lips. I seen you tryna throw a gold, gold frame, Gucci shades, custom made pieces, swag, multicolored diamonds glistening in both of our pieces. I got 'em, 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 I got 'em.